Good morning, everyone. This is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop, and I have got another share I want to do with y'all, project share. Uh, today is Mother's Day, and I want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day, and I just want to say um, that uh, I am a mother of two, so I'm truly blessed, and I have um, five grandkids. So anyway, even though I'm on the road and I won't get to see my kids and my grandkids today, I will do some FaceTiming with them, but I do miss them. But let me get started on what I have been working on. Um, this is a the book that I made um, using a um, brown paper bag, and I was successful in getting the two handles moved over, so that worked out. And you can see uh, my theme of this turned out to be Poems of Mothers. I used that one book that I had shown on my previous uh, project share, and so I decided to do it up in uh, Mothers because today's Mother's Day. So that book was about mothers, so that's what I decided to do. And I had gotten some scrapbook paper from um, Hobby Lobby, and so the colors just all came together. Anyway, I thought it turned out so pretty. I hope that y'all can see this. I don't want you to see me my face but anyway um it is so pretty i hope there's not too much of a glare on this let me see if i can get that over there okay it's hard for me to tell if if there's too much of a glare because i'm not used to thinning on my laptop it looks very glary to me anyway hopefully not okay so this turned out really good um, I made this up using just a, I think this was a Tim Holtz card that you get uh, with ephemera, and I used this little collage here that I made up, put one of those birds in there, and it's kind of got the rustic purples and greens going on, um, put some paper that I had in here, and just thought it turned out cute, that will be really pretty in my book. And this here is something that I made up, I was going to put that on the front, decided not to. Um, that came out of my scrapbook collage book. Mother, she's hollering for kids. And this right here, I'm going to put on here. Um, I don't really want to glue it down, so I'm going to magnetize it, but I have to wait till I get home to do that. And this here is um, something I made up too. Um, this is a tag I made up. I mean, um, it's a, really is a tag, um, even though it's hooked on here. It's just a little tag. It's got these cute, cute, cute little um, kittens on there. And you can open it up and do some writing on it. So I thought that was good. And this here is a tag that I made up. Added some more stuff to it. Um, this pretty, this came off that RSVP invitation. And just some little cards that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. So this turned out really cute, and I put a little sticker down here, so that's that turned out cute. And then this here is just some paper that I got out of a book that um, I got from the Dollar Tree, and has a lot of really neat sayings on it. I really liked it, and I did this up using Bow Bunny, um, came off a Bow Bunny thing that I got from them, and just put a sticker up here, and this pretty little dually that um, I got from Tuesday morning. So this is really cute, and I'm going to glue this down in the book, but I haven't done that yet because it's got this on the back. So, But anyway, I'm just showing you how you can use things that you get sometimes and just really make some cute stuff with it. So let's move on. Um, this right here is the pocket I put on the inside of this. And I made this up, and these were some Tim Holtz cards that I got at a resale shop or antique mall, and some ephemera I put in there, and this is just some paper. So this is the back of a card, and you can write on the back. It's got journaling on it. So I've been having a lot of fun just making things up that, you know, with limited supplies, and I made a little booklet out of this just using some scrapbook paper and just glued it on there, and it made up a little booklet. So that turned out good. Um, this was really cute because my theme is going to be mothers. Um, I was thinking 
this little girl looks like she's off to school, so it says special delivery, and she is headed off to school. And so I have put these little Tim Holtz cards in there that's got the alphab alphabets on there, and then this little coin that says the washing and dressing. And as we know, how hard it was to wash and dress and get our kids ready for school. So that was my thought on that. And this little girl came off of, actually, I found it on a postcard that somebody was using as an advertisement, so I just cut it out. I thought she was so cute, and the lady told me I could I could have, have some, so of course I got some, you know. We're going to try to get our freebies. So anyway, that all turned out really cute, and then I wanted to show you these little things that, um, this, this right here. I'm going, I bought this at Hobby Lobby on sale. Love this. I've seen these over there in the sewing um, department, and I am going to make a little, it's kind of hard to get out of here. And my plans are is to make a journal to go up in here. Oh. I've got it stuck down in there. I'm going to have to trim it a little bit or something. I can't get it out now. Let me see if I can use this pen. But I, cut, I had to cut it out twice. Well, anyway, you can see there. I have cut this out, and I'm using this as an example. And I'm just not cutting it out all the way, but I'm going to make a book out of this. So stay tuned for that next time. I'm going to have to trim around it to make it a little smaller. But I love to put um, in a mini book, so one of my favorite things to do. And this is a cute shirt that I got. But uh, made me think of the, you know, stuff we get from India. Just, it's just so cute. I love it. I got it at a resale shop. And, of course, when I buy stuff, I always think about, can I use it later? So this shirt here is going to be a great summer shirt for me, and then when I get tired of it, I can cut it up and use it in some of my um, journals. And this one here was too. I bought this at a resale shop. It's very, very pretty, lacy, um, kind of a cover, and you wear it over a shirt, and it's just blush with all kinds of goodies. And I got a really good price on it, so I was excited about that. Something I can wear, and then something I can use later. Okay. So the last thing I want to show y'all is I'm planning on making a book out of this. My husband got this with some, when we were at kind of like a um, bed and breakfast, it came with our stuff. It's just one of those little clasped envelopes. And I like the color of it, so I had bought these at the Dollar Tree. And so it the colors really kind of go with this. And these are some pretty scrapbook paper that I got at um, cheap, um, Hobby Lobby on sale. So my plans are is to um, I'm going to do a collage on here and then decorate it up and I'm going to fold it you know and do just a small book out of it and I have some fairy paper when, uh, when I get home that I can actually put my signature in and the same with this book um, you know I might put go ahead and kind of work on some, a signature because I can, I've got this stuff to sew on in. So I might do that. Um, I've been working on some paper and I wanted to show you um, one piece of paper that I took and yes, I coffee dyed this. I used my little um, packets of coffee that I, in the room here and I thought, well, I'm gonna see if I can coffee dye with it. Well, sure enough, I just could, you know, dab it on there. And I thought it turned out really pretty. And by the way, this paper is gorgeous. I got that at Hobby Lobby, too. I love that with the um, pineapples. I love pineapples. So, anyway, this is what I've got going on today. I'm excited about um, y'all, people that are interested in watching me craft on the go. And so, stay tuned. I'm sure I'm going to have quite a few more projects. Hopefully some more thrift finds um, on my journey. I've got about two more weeks to go, and then I will be headed home, which I miss home very much, but I'm having a good time. Me and my husband are, and we've ate a lot of food, and it's a lot of good seafood up here. So y'all have a wonderful, um, happy Mother's Day, and thank y'all so much for watching, and stay tuned.